Well, good morning or good afternoon or good evening, everybody. This is um, James with Jesus on Saturday, November 27th. The Advent 1 is tomorrow morning, Sunday, but um, according to my lectionary daily readings, they switch church years on Thursday, so I didn't know that. I don't know if that was out of convenience or if that's tradition. But the lesson for yesterday, um, I'm going to share that with you, and this is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, the last chapter, and Paul writes, But we appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labor among you, and have charge of you in the Lord, and admonish you, esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves, and we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak. Be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise the words of the prophets, but test everything, hold fast to what is good, Abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. So as we prepare for Advent tomorrow, um, there's a lot in here to take in, uh, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, guidance, <laughs> but one of the things that I recall is that from seminary is that First Thessalonians is believed to be the earliest book, or, or I guess is the earliest book written in the New Testament. And it's a letter of Paul, uh, often referred to as occasional letters, not that he wrote sporadically, but that the letters were in response to something. There was an occasion that prompted. And one of the things the First Thessalonians, or the Thessalonians um, were concerned about was that Jesus had not yet returned and so they're asking questions about um, you know what about those who have died and so this this summation at the end is, is really to me uh, directives on how to live today and although we wait and we'll talk about this with Advent that uh, we not only prepare for Jesus coming um, you know celebrating that for Christmas but in anticipation of his second Advent and so in this in-between time that has now stretched 2,000 years, uh, these words at the end of Thessalonians seem to be every bit as good and helpful to us as they would have been to Paul's original uh, audience. I had the, the pleasure this morning on behalf of University Lutheran to write up some vouchers and some letters to organizations that will be the first beneficiaries of the distribution from our endowment fund. Um, this endowment fund was was first, uh, I looked through my notes that I could dig up and the first notes I have on it were back in 2004 when uh, a bunch of folks, including Pastor Larry Hartzell and Martin Schneider, uh, others uh, started dreaming of an endowment fund. And then the steps they took, uh, the, the, the way things change with economic crises and, and re, reprioritization of resources for like the beautiful narthex that was built. Um, but then these last many years, uh, folks have been contributing generously to the endowment fund such that it reached its corpus and we were able to make the first disbursements this year. So those organizations that will be receiving a gift will be um, Lutheran Services of the Carolinas, and this will be for helping with refugee resettlement. Here in Clemson, Clemson Community Care, and this will be earmarked for utility assistance. Now the weather has gotten really cold to help folks that, that need some help with that. Shaw Center for Housing and Economic Growth, again, to make property improvements to people to make their, hab their homes more habitable. And then lastly, Lutheran World Relief, um, so we've, we've touched on a couple local ministries, couple, one statewide, or you could say national ministry, and then international. And this is all because of the blessings of others putting their talents to use to, to help create this endowment fund. 
the generosity of people making contributions to this, um, and then all along the way, treasurers and finance committees stewarding these resources so that at some point we could have the joyful task of, uh, of being able to put this money out into the community for good works. So that's what I have for today. Um, if you're a football fan, I understand there's a big game today, so uh, so uh, we won't be playing for the uh, ACC championship, but um, at least the in-state rivalry between uh, USC and Clemson will be today. So um, let's pray. Holy God, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you with this change of season that we're mindful of them, just the awesome creativity and um, interconnectedness between all these living systems that go on and, and such subtle things as the tilt of the earth and rotation around the sun and um, can leave us with this gorgeous habitable planet. Um, help us this day to take time to give you thanks. Help us this day to see how we might be able to put our gifts and talents to use that you've entrusted to us for not only building up the church, which is the body of Christ, but for love and service in your world, the world that you so deeply love. These things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Tomorrow, our 9 a.m. service will be uh, online as well as in person. We're doing fully masked as well as 11 a.m. in person, fully masked. Next Wednesday, 7 p.m. will be our first admin, midweek Advent service. The theme for this year will be Angels of Advent. Uh, this was spurred on by a request from the Wednesday morning Bible study group that I've been kicking that can down the road for about four years. So now we're going to take touch on the topic of angels. And then um, those, that, those services will also be viewed online. And if you'd like to put on your calendar, uh, sometimes these holiday seasons can be incredibly difficult for people. So on December 21st, we'll also be offering an online worship service of uh, a blue Christmas service. Um, depending on how, uh, how we structure that service, we, we may or may not have a, an in-person component, but without a doubt, uh, December 21st at 7 p.m. we'll have an online offering. So have a blessed day. And we'll see you tomorrow, either online or in person. Bye-bye.